The last time I saw MS size dominator laptop, I was sick of it. There wasn't anything wrong with it, but at the time, the product name belonged to the GD70, the powerhouse gaming machine that hasn't evolved much since its introduction in 2012. Back then, I loved the machine's heavy chassis, superb keyboard and excellent sound, but over time, the machine's aesthetic trappings began to bar me. Someone at MSI must have felt the same way. Earlier this year, the company released the GD72, a new Dominator with a whole new design. Soon after, it relaunched the machine with NVIDIA's latest graphics architecture. Okay, MSI, let's see if you can make me fall in love again. The GD70 to take everything that was great about its predecessor and wraps it into a new, more attractive package. The result is a well-built, ridiculously powerful gaming grid that lives up to the Dominator name. On a conceptual level, the new Dominator isn't all that different from its predecessors. It still features a large 17-inch display and a wide, heavy chassis plus enough power to make the average gaming laptop blush. Still, its design feels less dated. It's a study in matte black aluminum with few visual flourishes. The front edge and the top of the screen lid comes to a wide pointed peak with red accents and a subtle crimson paint peers out from behind the speaker grill. LED lighting behind the keyboard adds a little optional color. But overall the Dominator doesn't overdo it in the aesthetics department, and that's a good thing. The GD72 still fits the overbearing profile of a 17-inch gaming laptop, but it is a little smaller than the previous Dominator. The new design's 16.85 x 11.57 x 1.89 inch frame is noticeably thinner than the GD70S 2.17 inch chassis. It still weighs a solid 8.33 pounds, but at least it makes good use of its size. Four USB 3.0 ports run down the left side of its frame accompanied by a quartet of audio jacks and an XD card reader. Two more USB connections and an optical drive lies on the right edge of the machine, followed by all the other usual suspects on the rear, a power adapter, Ethernet jack, HDMI output and two display port plugs, just in case you want to rock the three monitor setup. MS size original Dominator featured a parade of physical media keys that lived just north of the keyboard. This switchboard went through a handful of overhauls as the years went on, crowding the edge of the chassis with Wi-Fi toggles, disk eject buttons, brightness controls and other unnecessary redundancies. The GD72S control deck is simpler. Five buttons run down the left edge of the machine's keyboard, and they're all useful. There's a power key, of course, but also a button that switches between discrete and integrated graphics. This requires a reboot, a cooler boost fan overdrive mode, a shortcut that launches the Dominator's game streaming software, and a keyboard backlight toggle. Speaking of the keyboard, I'm happy to report that MSI is still using SteelSeries to power its backlit keys. It's a physically satisfying keyboard, with simple, island-style keycaps that fall with a short, but soft depression. Even so, most of its magic happens behind the scenes. The included SteelSeries engine software suite allows the user to create custom macros and then program those macros to any button on the keyboard's surface, effectively making it a 100% reprogrammable typewriter. You can also customize the backlight with countless color combinations and even create statistical reports that highlight which keys are used most frequently during a timed play session. Useful features if you want them, but invisible if you don't. I can't ask for much more. Technically speaking, there isn't anything wrong with the GD72X touchpad. It's large, 
smooth surface accurately reads my fingers movements and translates them into the exact on-screen action I intended to execute. Its physical buttons depress with a satisfying tactile response. The pants boundaries are defined by a thin LED glow that nicely matches the backlight of the machine's keyboard. But still, I don't like it. It's an issue of form versus function. While technically functional, visually appealing and objectively fine, the Dominator's pad is impossible to locate by feel alone. It's not just flush with the palm breast, its surface is the surface of the palm breast. I accidentally dragged my finger off of the touch surface on multiple occasions while using the Dominator, and it was frustrating every single time. Large, gorgeous displays are the saving grace of most oversized gaming laptops, and the Dominator has never been an exception to that rule. The GD72X screen is a strong LCD with few caveats. Sharp visuals and vibrant colors are the standard here. Games look great, Blu-ray discs are a joy to watch, and there's very little to complain about. If I were to nitpick, I'd say that it loses contrast if you view it from harsh, impractically low angles, but that's true of most displays. The Dominator series has a history of offering great audio, and that tradition lives on with the GD72. Like its predecessors, this machine boasts Dynaudio speakers and, as always, they sound great. Loud, clear sound pumps from the laptop speaker bar. It's among the best audio you can get on a laptop without plugging in a pair of headphones. The machine's sound is augmented by Sound Blaster Cinema software as well, with distinct modes for gaming, music, cinema and voice. That said, you won't need to touch it, the GD72F equalizer pretty much manages itself.